I'm Roy Lee Lindsay with the North Carolina Pork Council, and I want everyone to remember, bacon makes everything better. Buddy David Glenn coming at you from the 2024 ACC kickoff event in Charlotte. Our next guest from the SMU Mustangs. He led his team to the conference championship. He was an all-conference player. He threw for 3,200-plus yards, 28 touchdowns. He is a Dallas guy who signed with the hometown Mustangs. We're talking about Preston Stone, new to the ACC himself and with his school. Preston, welcome to the North Carolina Sports Network. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Glad to be here. It's great to have you with us. I read that out of high school, you had offers from Alabama and Georgia and Texas and LSU and a whole bunch of others. You chose your hometown, SMU. How many schools did you seriously consider, and then what tilted the scales in favor of the Mustangs? Um, yeah, SMU has always been home for me, I think. Yeah, it's, it's the best blend of competitive premier athletics with, um, with an unbelievable degree that you'll get in Dallas. And um, for me, it's, the decision was pretty easy, and um, I'm very happy with how my career has turned out so far, and I'm looking to just continue to improve. What was your th first thought almost a year ago when you realized you still had a season to play in the American Conference, but you learned that you were headed to this league, the Atlantic Coast Conference? Uh, it was a blast. You know, I think um, regardless of uh, playing the American, playing the ACC, what's made our team special is keeping the main thing the main thing, focusing on ball and letting the work take care of itself. And shoot, I'm, I'm jacked up to be playing the ACC this year. It's going to be a blast. You guys were undefeated in conference play last year. Most people describe it as a step up in weight class to come to the ACC. When you look at video, are there things that you see as different in the ACC compared to the AAC? Um, I think the, the talent and just the pure athleticism of the, of the guys we'll play in the ACC will probably be a step up. Um, if I had to guess, I'd anticipate we'll get a lot more man coverage this year just with the level of talent they have, that most schools have at DBs in the American. And um, But hey, we're, we're ready for the challenge. It's going to be a blast. SMU quarterback Preston Stones joining us here on the North Carolina Sports Network. When your coach left a couple years ago, Sonny Dykes, what was it about either SMU or Dallas or Rhett Lashley, your current coach or his staff, that made you stay at SMU in an era where a lot of guys transfer, especially if their head coach leaves? Mm. It was definitely a really weird two, three week period uh, in between that transition from Coach Dykes to Coach Lashley. And um, you know, naturally, any kid when their head coach leaves is going to have. Uh, some second thoughts, maybe thinking, is this the right place for me? Should I go anywhere? And then once I got the call that Coach Lashley was coming to be your head coach, I, I knew it was going to be an easy decision to stay. You lived, in a way, Friday Night Lights, a very famous movie about high school football. We have good football here in North Carolina, but high school football in Texas is kind of world famous. How would you describe what makes it special to people in most of the other 50, you know, 49 states. Right. Yeah, I'll say, you know, there's always the conversation of, um, you know, Florida players, Florida, Georgia, California, and Texas players. You know, they, they might be able to rival us talent level, but there's no place in, in America that has the football culture like we do. Um, you know, what makes it special is, shoot, everybody, the, your whole town's coming out to watch you play on a Friday night. You're playing with your best friends, and um, it's really a whole family vibe. Um, on Friday nights, so it's it's an incredible, incredible experience. You had that broken leg at the end of the regular season last year. What was your availability or restrictions this spring, or even as you're standing next to me right now? Right, um, the majority of my spring I'd spent rehabbing, um, you know, a lot of physical therapy, living in the training room for the most part. Um, standing here now, I'm 100% I'm and I feel better than ever. Texas rapid fire questions for you, all right? Some of these are kind of cartoonish, so we're not making fun of Texas. I know the phrase, don't mess with Texas. I take it seriously. Do you have, not today, but cowboy boots? Of course. How many pairs? Just one, just one. Do you wear regular, you're looking sharp today. Do you wear a cowboy hat in other social contexts? Not typically, no, but I'm not against it. Have you attended a rodeo? I have, yeah, uh, out in Fort Worth. Fun? Oh, yeah, it's a great time. Have you visited the Alamo? Of course, yes. We all remember the Alamo. 
Have you visited an oil rig? No, I haven't. Famous, right? I'd like Texas. to, though. Yeah. Growing, I read born and raised in Dallas, right? So you're super rooted in that city. Have you been to Jerry's World slash AT&T Stadium? Or for all I know, you played a game there. Oh, plenty of times. Yeah. I've played there, played Little League there, and I've uh, been to Cowboy games, high school games, a ton of games there. It looks. I've been a lot of places. That looks about as extravagant as anywhere I've ever been. Does it, does it live up to the hype when you're playing on that field? Absolutely. It's crazy. I played Little League ball there, so there's probably 100 people in the stands, but been to Cowboy games there, and it's it's an electric environment. Have you visited the NASA Space Center, I think, in Houston? I haven't, no. I forget how far that is. Dallas to Houston. Yeah, that's, I think it's like four or five hours. Live music is another thing that's famous in Texas. I don't know if you're allowed to talk about Austin, Texas, which is famous for that, but um, is that another part of the culture the way you would describe it to outsiders? I would say so. Um, I, I've only been to a handful of concerts, but it's definitely a, a huge thing to do in Dallas. If we looked at the phrase, don't mess with Texas in like a dictionary, and Preston Stone had to explain what it means to him, to all of us outsiders, how would you put don't mess with Texas into words? Uh, Texas pride. That's what it is. It's um, don't mess with Texas. You know, I don't think there's any state in the country that takes more pride in their state and their culture than, than we do. Would you say both barbecue and chili are famous in Texas? <laughs> I haven't had too much chili, but barbecue for sure, hands down. I'd, I'd say we're the best barbecue. Have you learned yet that North Carolina is famous for barbecue? Because this show is presented by the North Carolina Pork Council. We do barbecue a certain oh, yeah. way. But you guys are also, I think, on the short list of states famous for barbecue. How do you like your barbecue, if, assuming you do like barbecue? I love our barbecue. Um, shoot, that, that's the only barbecue I know. Is there anything specific to North Carolina? Uh, you don't know how long that answer is. <laughs> long story short is there's western North Carolina barbecue that has okay. more of a tomato paste to it. Okay. There's eastern style that has more of an uh, oil base to it. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's a pork product here. Uh, people use the term barbecue different in different places. Um, his name is Preston Stone. He actually has the highest ranking. You might. I wonder if you know this. Pro Football Focus does a deep dive on this stuff. The highest ranked quarterback in this league going into the season from last year is this guy, Preston Stone of SMU. Thank you for your time here on the North Carolina Sports Network. I hope you enjoy your visit here and your season in the ACC. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You got it. Michael Berard, Managing Director Investments with the Founders Group at Stiefel, works with a select group of high net worth individuals and institutions to develop and implement investment plans tailored to their specific objectives and risk tolerances. If you are interested in highly personalized, well-researched guidance and outstanding personal service, you can contact Michael at 984-364-364. 2002. That's 984 364 2002. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE.